Welcome back to another update on the caterpillars. Today's gonna be a little short one. Um, I'm gonna try to be quick since this is only my phone. And please ignore the dogs in the background. They bark all night and it's really annoying. So, the poplar sphinx caterpillars are going into their second instar now. So let's open this up. As you can see, I moved them into a bigger enclosure so that they don't cannibalize each other because if you put too many caterpillars in such a small space, when they get too big, they're gonna end up eating each other and then stretching each other out and then they're gonna die. And also their poop builds up and stuff and then that's not good because that can grow mold and then that'll infect the caterpillars and then kill the caterpillars. So let's see if we can find a caterpillar. I see a couple down here. Oh, it's really wet. That's not good. Here's a branch with a few. You can see they've grown a lot. See that? They're really cool. They've grown so much so quickly. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. You can see they're different from other hornworms because they have two little bumps on the top of them. Two little white bumps. And you don't see that with your regular hornworms. So that's cool. Okay, so they are all doing good. They're all in there. Now, I'm gonna move to these guys. Oh, those green caterpillars that I had, I had three of them. They all, they're all chrysalises now. And they're green with a little bit of red on them. And I have them in a little container with some paper towel so when they hatch they can crawl up on and go upside down and inflate their wings. Now, these guys, these are those other inchworms that were feeding on the cherry tree. Stick mimicking. You can see there's a couple right there. Those are pre-pupal. They're not pupas yet, but they will be in like tomorrow or the next day. There's four of them. And I have seven, so there's three more left that are still caterpillars. Um, so let's move all this aside. Now, the swallowtails. So let's open this up. I'm gonna take this out now. Because they're all caterpillars and they're really strong. They're not gonna fall off the plant. Okay. So... Um, here's a little guy that I got today. Come on. Look at that. I heard a beetle crash into the ground. But yeah, there, there's the bird poop. One. And then, here's a little bit of bigger one. You can see there's still a, real, a little resemblance of bird poop, but it's mostly green. Then you got the big green ones, like that. Oh, this one back here. That one is more of a bird poop than green, but there's still a lot of green. There's this big guy here. He's been growing good. If you look closely, you can see a little bit of blue on the back there, and that's really pretty. Um, this one is actually, it made a cocoon, <clears throat> or it's going to. You can see it turned red. They always turn red when they do that. Mosquito was on my leg, dang it. Now it's gonna itch. Anyways. There you are. You can see that they make a girdle. 
and they hang themselves in that as like an anchor and then there's like an anchor on at their back end and then if we turn this around um i think on this leaf here or wait or is it on that leaf no it's on that oh yeah this leaf here there's another pre-pupil pre caterpillar there which is nice so now I'm gonna have two chrysalises by tomorrow I think you can see the little string there if you look closely and there's another one there mosquitoes keep going everywhere Jesus Christ okay so those are all the caterpillars that I can show you right now I forgot also I have a couple things to show you in the fridge so let me go get that now all right here's that surprise it is a five spot hawk moth and this is so special because this is only the third one that I've seen here you've seen me handle the Carolina Sphinx many times but this is a different species but in the same genus and they both feed on um, nightshades like tomatoes, potatoes, deturas. They all feed on those. You can see that long proboscis tongue right there. They have a really nice pattern. It's really cool. So yeah, that's that. I have another one. This is a female, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a female. I have another female in a cage right now with a couple other Sphinx moths. But that's for tomorrow's video. I'm going to show you all of those. Oh, also... Oh, fuck. I dropped it. That's not good. That one is going to be a pin specimen because that's a really good specimen. The first specimen I got... It was really old and tattered, but that one is nice and fresh. Um, here's this one. It's a poplar sphinx. It's a female. I don't know how long it's been, but she was stuck in the chicken wire. All tangled up and stuff. I don't know how long she's been like that. Probably since last night, because she's pretty weak and tattered up. So yeah, that's that one. I have three males in the cage in inside. But yeah, everything's doing good. No casualties yet, which is good. And uh, that's it for this video.